If I compare these four years uh, difference between 2009 and 2013, I could witness now that uh, the uh, Afghan National Security Forces moved forward a large step. Now they have the uh, quantities uh, which we always wanted to have. They also moved forward a huge step concerning quality. And what I've witnessed uh, during this fighting season is that they took responsibility. They have taken over responsibility last year already. And I saw a good uh, working relationship developing between the police and the army. And uh, it's very much now in the hands of the uh, provincial chief of police, who is the one who is responsible uh, to provide security. And he does that in a very impressive manner, bringing together the army and the police. And they are conducting uh, one operation after another. And if we look at these nine provinces, we can see a lot of uh, development which has been achieved. I mean economically. And uh, if I compare the situation with 2009, I can see that uh, the, the cities are developing. If you go to Mazar Sharif, to Faisabad, Maimana, Aibak, you name it, each of these uh, cities, bigger ones, smaller ones, uh, they're developing in, an, in a way which is uh, amazing. If you talk with our Afghan friends outside, four years ago, they always uh, had three wishes when I talked with them. The, the number one was always security. Number two was education. And number three was uh, development. Uh, if you talk now with the people, the first uh, wish they have is employment. So this is a step forward that people now are thinking about uh, employment. Germany has, uh, has sent a very strong signal uh, June this year when we opened uh, a general consulate, uh, which is uh, the first one of, of a Western nation from Europe here in Mazar Sharif. So that is a strong signal and that has been well taken by the people because this gives them uh, the feeling, okay, they stay with us, they will continue. My country has uh, very early this year already announced that we will be willing, uh, if uh, we have a follow-on mission, to provide up to 800 soldiers. And if we would be asked and if that fits into the overall concept, that we also would continue to uh, take again then the lead responsibility in the north and uh, that's what we are preparing now for. We all are now looking at next year for the elections and uh, the elections are decisive that they are in time and uh, that they will in the end then have a candidate uh, which will be elected but uh, which will hope, hopefully then also be accepted uh, by, by the other ones so that we have another five years of uh, stability in this country. So far, none of us can predict uh, if everything will be peaceful, uh, but there is a lot of hope. They never had better uh, chances, which uh, we have provided so far. If you look at the communication area, everywhere you have the connectivity with a cellular phone, everywhere you have TV, everywhere you have radio, everywhere you have internet. So there is a young generation which has all the possibilities at hand and if they have security in the upcoming years as well, if they have uh, one president which is accepted by the majority, that's uh, what gives me hope. It's hard to predict. Let's uh, talk again in about five or six years and then hopefully we will see what has been the outcome.